computer. Okay. Great, great people coming in, conectando a audio. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, and sorry. Okay, again. <clears throat> Okay. Hello, everybody. Hola, todos. Hola. ¿Cómo están? Hola. Bien. 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 I'll okay. get them in just a second. They're upstairs. Okay. Uh, all right. All good. Thank you. Gracias por estar aquí hoy, el jueves, esta semana. Um, Anybody? I can't, uh, can't tell. <clears throat> All right. Waiting for a couple more people. There's Asalia. All right. Yeah. Well then? Okay. Maria, estás manejando. Sí, casi, casi llego a mi casa. Okay. <laughs> cuídate, cuídate. Okay. Okay. Sí. Um, okay, anybody new? Who's new? Daniel? Maria. Daniel. Ana. Okay. Where are you from, Daniel? Uh, soy de California, de okay. Ciudad de Sacramento. Sacramento, bienvenida. Thank you for being here. Gracias. ¿Cómo está tu español? Eh, medio. Estoy practicando cada, cada día, pero necesito practicar más. Okay. You are in the right place. That is what, eh? we, that's know, what, we, what we do is we are the practice people. Um, Sherlingo, Sherlingo preaches practice. Okay. And uh, we try to facilitate that. Okay, estamos aquí. Giovanni, hola, ¿cómo estás? Bienvenido. Hola, ¿cómo están? Muchas gracias por recibirme y encantado de poder conectarme primera vez con ustedes acá. Ok, bienvenido. ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde vives? Ah, yo soy de Honduras, pero okay. actualmente estoy viviendo en Denver. ¿En Denver? Ok, actualmente yes. estoy en Denver hoy. Uh, vivo, en, vivo en Phoenix, Arizona, pero hoy estoy en Denver. Sí, hoy en Aurora, en Aurora. Sí. Ok, muy bien. Gracias por estar aquí. Um, y otro Ana. Another Ana here. Uh oh. We're going to have to do the, uh, the James Bryce thing. Ok. Manish, Doug, good to see you back. Alice. Sí. Okay, la otra Ana. ¿Cómo estás? Bien. Bien, okay. ¿De dónde eres y dónde vives? De aquí, de, de Arizona. Ah, okay, muy bien. Ah, bienvenida. Okay, gracias, gracias por estar aquí. ¿Cómo está tu inglés? Mm, más o menos, <laughs> Más o menos estás aprendiendo. No, es, sí, es como decían, lo entiendo más que lo hablo. Lo, no lo, lo hablo muy poco. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Entonces aquí es, es donde necesitas estar. Sí, ok. Todos de nosotros estamos aprendiendo y practicando uh, juntos. La idea es que hay muchas personas aquí. Um, Uh, quien quiere practicar contigo, ¿ok? Y en Arizona vamos a empezar un nuevo clase uh, presencial, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ok, muy bien, Asalia, gracias por estar aquí. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm. Great. Ok, um, ok, María, lista. Ya llegué. Ok. Perfect. Uh, anybody else new want to say hello? Dan, we have to change your name. No. That's yeah. fine. 
Jan, <laughs> Jan is the owner. Okay. Maybe Brianna. <laughs> Bri okay. Bryce, Brianna. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Ana, do, Ana dos. Jan. Or Ana segundo, maybe. Or Anita. Anita. That'd be good. Anita. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she like. You have to be a very <laughs> for Anita. <laughs> a lot of people call me Anita. My father calls me Anita all the time. Really? <laughs> oh. That's what I said. Special people. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Muy bien. Okay. Um, thank you for being here. Gracias otra vez, Raquel. Mucho gusto verte. There's Mr. Roseboro. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good, good. <laughs> thank you for being here, as always. And thank you, Annette. Glad to be here. All right. Um, so, uh, it's a blessing that we are even having this meeting today because I'm traveling and my computer mm. is dying. Um, so, uh, Hopefully, I'll be able to be here for the entire event. But if not, Anna has everything. Okay. Okay. Um, preguntas? Primero, preguntas. I, yo sé que um, hay, hay muchas personas nuevas aquí. Any, any questions about what we're doing? Preguntas sobre qué estamos haciendo? Okay, yo tengo una. <laughs> okay. Bueno. Uh, bueno, mi pregunta es, ¿las clases van a ser personales y en cada estado o donde uno esté? Um, ok, sí, vamos a empezar clases presencial um, solo en Phoenix, uh, okay. por, próxima semana. ¿Vives en Phoenix también? Sí. Yeah. Ok, sí. bueno, um, próxima semana, um, ok. Es, es una historia muy larga, pero uh, voy a explicar más en, en otro tiempo. Pero bienvenida. Uh, sí, tú puedes uh, conectar con americanos quien quiere hablar español y nosotros vamos a enseñar cómo practicar juntos. Si tenemos materiales y un estructuro, estructura, un método para practicar y todo lo que necesitas. ¿Sí? Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, where are you from, Maria? Oh, wow. That's a long history. Es una larga historia. Soy de México, pero prácticamente crecí aquí. Okay. En okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Me pareció extraño cuando dijiste, ya llegué. That sound very... Um, Familiar. Uh, normal. <laughs> right. <laughs> normal. Normal. Ya llegué. Okay, for someone to say that, an American to say, yeah, 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 as well. Okay, it has a high level of English, but now I know why. <laughs> okay, so, but uh, if you are in Phoenix, um, you can have the live, you can do the live classes with James, okay? Y si no, también tenemos el programa online. Ok, y con el programa online, eh, pues te damos todos los cursos desde principiante hasta avanzado y te conectamos con otro estudiante eh, norteamericano que está practicando inglés. Te enseñamos cómo practicar con, con esta persona. Te ayudamos a que entiendas todo, que veas cómo son los materiales. Eh, una persona de nuestro equipo nos ayuda con eso. Primero te conectamos con él, se llama David, y luego... Eh, cuando tú ya estás re, eh, lista, cuando tú ya te sientes cómoda con la práctica, entonces ya vas a practicar con, con norteamericanos. Entonces tenés estas dos opciones, en línea o presencial, pero por ahora solo están las clases en Phoenix. Ok. Oh, está interesante. Al, ¿Sabes al, al, el lugar donde... James, ¿cuál es el lugar? <risas> uh, es un, es, uh, vamos a hacer es, estas clases en una iglesia. Uh, se llama Desert Christian Fellowship. Y queda um, cerca de Northern y 15. Avenida 15. Northern y 15. Avenida 15. Oh, oh. Yo vivo sobre la Northern, pero más al West. Okay. Perfecto. Sí, sí es normal. <risas> ok. <clears throat> um, Sí, ellos, 
ofrecen su, su lugar para nosotros. Uh, no es un programa religioso, es, es solo es un, un lugar para practicar juntos. ¿Ok? Ok, muy bien. Muy bien. Ok. <coughs> ah. Ok. Um, ¿Anybody else? ¿Want to say hello? ¿Quiere decir hola? <laughs> hola. Ok. Um, Bryce, what are we looking at today? Um, we're going to be working on like, desde hace, hace, desde, and a little bit of day because people were asking questions about it. Um, so I put examples with those, you know, mm -hmm. like from, from, and since, okay. and since when. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Bueno. Really important. Muy importante. Okay. Um, Bryce James Roseboro uh, es el autor de, de nuestro libro y de estos ejemplos. Okay. Entonces, si tienes preguntas, ustedes pueden escribir en el grupo uh, si, si tienes cualquier duda. Um, okay, Anna, are we ready? Are, am I going to share or are you going to share? Either one. Okay. Um, you share. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> okay. I'll. You want me to share? You want me to try? It's ready. You got it. Okay. Great. Uh, let me get uh, zoom ratio fit to window. Great. Okay, set it to uh, mm. ah. 150, there we go. That's great. Más <laughs> mejor. <laughs> okay. okay. Good, good, good. Uh, Phil, say mucho mejor. Oh, mucho mejor. Thank you. Great. Sorry. Thank you very Gracias. Well. I don't mm -hmm. know where that más came up, but uh, can I tell you? <laughs> I heard más a menos earlier, so maybe that's why I got stuck. So, uh, uh, mucho mejor. Thank you. You're okay. welcome. Okay, so the way this works, um, <clears throat> basically we're going to translate, just practice translating from Spanish to English and English to Spanish. We ask questions, um, we we just play. Estamos aquí para aprender y nada más, okay? Todos um, aquí es, son muy amables, okay? No, no te preocupes si quieres Participar es bueno, si, si no, tú puedes escuchar. ¿Ok? Para los que, antes que empecemos, para los que hablamos español y nos, nuestro inglés todavía no está ahí como muy bueno, no estamos seguros o motivados de leer en inglés o lo que sea, podemos hacerlo en español, podemos leer las oraciones en español y si sienten que pueden traducir, aunque no conozcan todas las palabras, entonces vamos a ir traduciendo palabra por palabra y si hay algo que, alguna palabra que no saben, pues entonces nosotros les ayudamos, pero la idea es que ustedes lean, que traduzcan, que se sientan incómodos y digo incómodos porque hasta que no nos sentimos incómodos hablando inglés, entonces no lo hablamos, ¿ok? Eh, si nos da vergüenza, si nos da pena o miedo, entonces va a ser más difícil hablarlo, entonces tenemos que dejar eso a un lado y empezar a hablar, porque aquí eh, los corregimos, eh, los ayudamos para que ustedes tengan la confianza de hablar inglés de manera fluida, cómoda y pues vayan mejorando hasta alcanzar el nivel avanzado. Si alguien no entiende, eh, me pueden preguntar a mí, a Sally, a Barraquel eh, y con gusto pues les traducimos o los explicamos más. Uh -huh. Más que todo es para ver que, que hay, tú, tú puedes conocer a alguien nuevo con quien es posible que puedas practicar, ¿ok? Ok, number one. Who wants to do number one? I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Excellent. Excellent. Just to break Just the ice. Jump, jump right <laughs> under that bus. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just to break the ice. I'm definitely not a professional, but I'm going to try it. So 
the goal is to read it in oh, Spanish and then try to to translate it to English. That's it. It's yep. So oh. if you don't know any words, don't worry about it because yeah. we're all going to figure it out together. Okay. All right. So here's a shot. Desde pequeña soñaba con ser jugadora de baloncesto profesional. So since I was little, no, no. um, I don't know what soñaba. I'm not sure about that one. Dream. Um, dream. Dream. Dreamed about. Oh, dream. 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 Thank dream. you. Okay. So since my, since I was little, I dreamt of becoming a professional basketball player. Yes. Oh, wow. Baloncesto. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. So, Yaba, dream. Okay. Wow. Thank you for the help. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Didn't mean much. <laughs> no, don't say that. It didn't mean much. No. <laughs> That's great. That's that is great. <laughs> you excelled. All right. I want to try. I want to try for the second. We have to try for the second. Okay. We're still on the first one. We're still on the first one. Okay. So we're we're looking at desde. Uh, Bryce has given us a lot of examples today with desde or desde hace or that type of thing. So desde is since. Okay. Sometimes we say ever since. So mm. you might also hear. Yeah. Ever since I was little, I have dreamt mm. uh dreamt okay ever since so okay so para los hispanohablantes puedes escuchar los dos sí. Oop, there we go ever Sign since I, I have dreamt una pregunta ever since y sen significan lo mismo casi Solamente... casi, casi lo mismo. okay um everybody uh would let's take a like a show of, of hands or just chime in are you more likely to say since i was little or ever since i was little um either or i think mm -hmm. either or yeah, yeah. Oh, los dos, entonces. depends how you're feeling mm -hmm. <laughs> ever since it's more emphasizing yeah. If you're more emphatic about ever since I was a child, yeah. but mm. I, you, you don't use it in all situations. Correct. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. if it's just a statement, I've I've dreamt of but, being a basketball player since I was a child. But if you really want to give it emotion, con emoción, okay, ever emotion. since I was a child, I've wanted to be a professional basketball player. So yeah, about cool. Okay, thank you. Good. Thanks for the question. All right. Okay. All right. Um, the name. other thing that's, that's interesting to me is all you have to do is change the accent on Sunaba, and it means a whole different word, and that blows me away. Uh-huh. Give us the oh, tell us what, what is tell it? Us what, tell us what you mean. Yeah. James, my question is, why do you Not use an accent? <laughs> Why do you have to use sonaba con ser So because well the the son sonar con is how you okay. that's the structure okay. for dreaming about okay fine sonar con mm. okay you explained it okay so that's a that's a great thing Carol um, I'm having problems with my mouse but what we're saying is can I do yes. And the other, the, the word that he was talking about was so not, but that's without the, the enye. Yeah. Okay. All right. So without the enye, what's it mean? That's so, so not the sound, you know. The sound. Ah, uh, so sound. Yeah, that makes sense. So not versus so not. Also, also, just to let people, just to, just to let everyone know who, who hey. may not know in this case, but desde pequeña soñaba con ser jugador. Well, that example can also be she dreams. Ever since she was little, she dreamed about mm -hmm. just 
just for the people who don't sure. who may not know that. So yeah, okay. um, I have a question. Um, I'm sorry, you were explaining why it's on Yava Kon and I don't know if there's a glitch in my, my tablet, but I, I didn't hear the explanation. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Sonyar con is, is how do you how you say you dream about something. Okay. So Julie, that's a, thank you for that question. Okay, so one of the things that we're trying to encourage here in tonight's meeting and all of our meetings is to um, not translate word for word. Mm -hmm. Uh, get familiar with more phrases, right? Uh, think of it like phrasal verbs, for example. Okay. Um, get up, get with I, it, I get together. Uh, phrasal verbs, two words go together and they have a meaning. And so two or more words. And so soñar con is, you can just start thinking about that as dream about. Soñar con. Okay. Okay. And you mean dream so of dream of dream about mm -hmm. dream of yes dream of. you have it's dreamt so of being i have dreamt of becoming mm. that's so the um the other verb, um sonar without the, the tilde over the end to sound is that with another, is that there, sonar con or sonar? Con? No, that's a totally different. It's a totally different word. I mean, your meaning. Right. So. I mean, it sounds. You no. Know, um, I just thought maybe it was similar because their verbs are similar, but <laughs> they mean two different things. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's go a little bit. Um. You said if I dream about becoming a fi firefighter, sueño con ser bombero, for it, for example. Okay. All right, Maria, so, you're up. Me? See, número dos. Oh, I would have done. Would have tried. I mean, I want to try it. Um, from my house, I can see the lake or I can see the lake from my house. Mm -hmm. eh, yo puedo ver, desde mi casa, yo puedo ver el lago. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Is uh, everybody clear? El lago. Uh, kind of. Well, I, not I, really. I think, it's, I think it's really um, interesting that she said it both ways yeah we do, it, we do it both ways in english also right well yeah before she even translated it she says oh from my house and then she said i can see the lake from my house and then she said from my house i can see the lake mm -hmm. which i thought was really interesting so mm. it is and that, that's a really good way of looking at it to be honest yeah uh, it is so when you hear people talking this practice like this helps you get used to the idea, you know, that in Spanish, like in English, things sometimes move around. Sometimes they do. Not all the time, but sometimes they can just move around. Same as in English. Yeah, absolutely. From my house, I can see the lake. You know, in English, you can reverse it. So, Or on a clear day, I yeah. can see the lake. You can see forever. On a clear day, <laughs> I can see forever, yeah. Okay, Barbara. <laughs> Great. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what else we would say about that sentence, but uh, today, today is from. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Son de California. All right. It's pretty All right. Simple. Pretty simple sentence. What does it mean? Yep. <laughs> Bob, you're chiming in there? Yep. They are from California. Mm hmm So. Okay. So, so in this example, Bryce is obviously teaching us that we don't always have to use desde for from. See. Right? Bryce, what's the lesson here? <clears throat> 
You're on mute, my friend. Yes, that's exactly. That's the reason why I put those two back to back, just so you can see the mm, two I mean. from from examples back to back and see the ones dead day and one day. So, yep. So when do we use? So why why do we use day here instead of des day? De donde eres? De donde eres? Where are you from? Right. Right. So. Day indicates origin. I'll take it. Okay. And something, see, and we're using the verb ser, not, not estar here, right? So we're, mm -hmm. we're looking at something that, it, you know, th this person, it's something about this person. It's where they're from, right? It's a, a trait. Can you, can you scroll back up? Uh, Anna can. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah ever since this day. And from location, okay. Day from location. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Great. Okay, moving on. All right, number four, somebody. They have been studying Spanish since 2020. Ellos han sido estudiando Espanol desde 2020. Have been, have been. Good job. Sí, es, estado, han estado, okay. Mm -hmm. Han estado. Han estado. estado yeah. mm -hmm. Desde 2020. It says they've been studying, so it, like this, and han estado. Or on estudiando. Yeah. Just to let you guys know, a lot of times you'll hear people say, for example, in this case, estudian español, español desde el 2020, for example. So. I think I would have said desde hace. Español. Okay. So that's kind of the difference between since and ever since. Okay. Right? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me. Well, so one is, so I've been studying since 2000 to me makes me think I'm really talking about my start date. Okay. But when I mm -hmm. say ever since 2000, I'm talking about that whole period between 2000 and now. Uh -huh. Like mm -hmm. if I said, yes. Carol, if I asked you the question, when did you start learning Spanish? You might answer, I've been learning Spanish since 2000. But uh -huh. if I ask you, how long have you been learning Spanish? You might say, I've been learning Spanish ever since 2000. There's That's for the second option for this one? Uh, when So, Anna, when would you say, or would you ever say, desde hace dos mil? No, I... For me, this this one, they have been studying Spanish since 2020. I will say ellos han estado estudiando español desde 2020. Mm -hmm. But this one, for me, is the more like, I, I will say they study Spanish um, since 2020. Or, yes, mm -hmm. since, but they study. Mm -hmm. No, so they have been. Yes. Like, they okay. Study they yeah they studied spanish they have well they so so we that is not they study spanish we would not use that exactly okay but i but this 
is what we hear. We native Spanish speakers. That's what we hear. Okay. okay? So for this one, we will say this, but for this, uh, um. Yo entiendo que eh, la segunda respuesta o oh, el donde dice estamos ¿Sí? estudian español ¿Sí? desde el 2020. Yo creo que es como yo creo que es como una respuesta uh, as, como si fuera una Correcto. pregunta. Correcto. Uh -huh. Ajá, como una afirmación. Uh -huh. Correcto. Y um, yo... estudi estudian es pasado, ¿verdad? Yes. Estudian. No. No, no, no es present. No, no. estudian. estudian. Están estudiando. Están estudiando, ellos estudian. Es, es present. And, okay, so we would not say in English, no decimos. Okay, they study Spanish then. Yeah, that's what I was asking yeah. if you yeah, say yeah. this. We would, yeah, we wouldn't say it in English. No, Correct. okay, because mm. when I hear this in my brain, I understand this. That's mm -hmm. what I was asking if, if yeah. this. I mean, I think what I was asking was if this is the same than this in English, okay? It's not. Yeah, that's Thank you. Okay. But back back to this question about would you ever use in in this kind of sentence would you ever say desde hace in this in this sentence ever No, say? because I will have to specify the the number of years or months or weeks. Ellos han ellos estudian español desde hace cinco años, desde hace dos meses, desde hace una semana. Okay, I will have to specify the exact period of time. Okay, Thanks. Carol, that's mm. important news there, right? Yes. Okay. You know, right. um, when Anna was speaking at first, I thought she said they studied Spanish since 2020, like like it's imperfect that's, or something. That's what I thought also. That's why I was asking Thank if estudian is that past because it doesn't look past, right? And so no, it's no, it's present. Yeah, and so my confusion also there. Exactly, Julie. My acid. <laughs> no, it's my not. Acid. No, it's not. <laughs> Para nosotros. Bueno, para nosotros los que hablamos español se nos hace, bueno, a mí personalmente, se me hace uh, muy confuso cuando ya en inglés pasas a, a, a past tense, cuando cambian las palabras. Igual yo creo que ustedes en el español un sí. poquito se les hará. Es lo mismo para todos de nosotros. Sí. Okay. Sí. Entonces, es por eso que necesitamos practicar lo más posible. Sí. Pero María, eh, cada, cada semana tenemos diferentes temas. Uh, James Rosbro crea diferentes temas. A veces hacemos pasado, presente, futuro, progresivo, hace, uh, hacemos adverbios de tiempo, este, um, o por ejemplo, verbos que significan diferentes cosas, el mismo verbo diferente, uh, significa varias cosas. Entonces, hacemos diferente. Y el pasado tal vez se te complica porque es un poquito avanzado. Um, pero o sea, se nos complica porque es un poco avanzado. Pero yo creo que el truco es entenderle al pasado simple. <ríe> si le entiendes al pasado simple, ya, ya está todo. I have a question. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you also say llevo, no, llevan estudiando español? Yes. Desde. Uh -huh. Okay, um, so Charlotte, what's that mean? I've been studying Spanish since 2020. I have, I've been, llevan? I'm not, I, they, they, they. Okay. They've been. Okay, so this is something you might hear in conversation. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for bringing that up. You're welcome. All right. Next. Who's going to jump in? 
¿Quién? ¿Cómo? Oh, sí, sí. Ah, vivo aquí desde hace cinco años. Um, I have, um, I've lived here. Um, I know it's not in, in, in past tense, pero uh, en español es como vivo, vivo aquí desde hace cinco años. Uh, I, literalmente, I lived I here for, I lived here. I lived here for five years. Literalmente, pero en inglés no es la traducción, porque, I, sí, I live here since, no, no, no en inglés, no es Lived. correcto en inglés, uh, mon, yeah. sí, sí, sí. más natural es como, I have lived here um, <clears throat> for five years. The reason why I put that one is because It, it's one of those things that is said two different ways. Uh, it was said in English, it's said one way, in Spanish, it's said another way. Because if in, in Spanish, if you said, I have lived, if you said it like past tense, like sí. I lived, then it's like it's it's cut off and you don't live there anymore. Mm. You see, so that's, that's, these are some of these examples. You have to keep that in mind. They don't, they don't have the literal, they're not going to make sense literally in, in that way. Like you can't, like I can't say, vivi aquí. You know, I've lived, I lived here. You know, I can't, I can't say that. Wow, that is so. That's, that's such, interesting. That's such a big concept right there. What you just said. Okay. Sí, esto era en mi mente también, uh, porque hay muchas expresiones en español como eso en que presente uh, los hispanohablantes. Um, usan el presente yeah. para describir algo que es pasado, pero es conectado con el presente, ¿no? Es, es la conexión con, pre, con el presente. Por, sí. Uh, por ejemplo, yo vivo en mi casa en Denver um, desde um, 2000 Seis. Vivo en mi casa. Empezó en 2006 y continuamos. Sí, pero ya vives aquí. Todavía. Sí. 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 So this is a cool, this is a really cool concept. Right? Um, once it makes sense. It's really cool <laughs> because we're talking about the present. We use the present tense because we're still here. If we've left, then that was in the past and we use the past tense because we're not mm -hmm. here. I really think that's cool. And and if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. Right? Mm -hmm. Probably. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Para los hispanohablantes, ¿entienden? ¿De qué estamos hablando? Sí, es claro. Sí, para mí sí. There. Yes. Okay. Excellent. This is that talk you've been um, Usario de Zoom. Usario de Zoom. ¿Quién es? ¿Cómo se llama? Manejando, creo. Yes. Daniel, I... were you going to say something, right? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I was going to say um, this question or this sentence is sort of like the um, sentence we looked at in number four, where it had the on, um, on estado, the, uh, the, what's called the perfecto, the present perfecto, the present perfect tense. So could you, could you say for number five, he vivido? Aquí desde cinco años. Can you say that, or does that is that um, does that make clear sense? He vivido aquí desde hace cinco años. 
I was going to say that. Yes, you can do. You can say that. He lived here for five years. He lived here since five years. Is that right? You are right. Okay. Okay. So that's okay. I just wanted to make sure that was correct. Is that okay to say that? Am yes. I, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. Were you going to say something? No, well, you, you just answered, found you, you answered okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Oops. No, that's good. Okay. It's so no problem. Yeah. Okay. The number six. This is just found out 10 minutes ago. This is a couple of enterarme 10 minutos atrás or this or this day hace 10 minutos. The attorney uh, was a uh, found, found, no, es encontré, oh, estoy equivocada. But what I understand is uh, there are two different meanings, and uh, it's a probably phrasal verbs that I found out is descubrir, but um, mm -hmm. they frequently. Um, Different articles in the internet is is found out is enterarme, but depends of the context. Uh, I believe in this context is enterarme and uh, against to the descubrir. So, well, is it we 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 are talking about that time? So this is enterarme, no descubrir. Mm. Well, that I think that will depend on what you find out. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Yes. <laughs> okay. No, yeah. Like for example, think so about depending. this. If someone, if someone told me, "I did, did you know that um, that our aunt is sick?" For example, oh, I, I just found out, or I found out that my aunt is sick. Okay, or whatever you know. Um, or what if you just found a medical something you know to do something then you discover something okay in this case we'll use uh i think it depends more of the context and you can use it or what yes i, I agree with you i have a question okay so on the last one where it says acabo Descubrió hace eh, diez minutos. So is it? It's almost like saying, um, "I just made a discovery ten minutes ago." I mean, is that uh, one way to well, translate not really. that? Maybe not, maybe not made a discover, but I just yeah, discovered. I, I discovered. I discovered. Yeah, I discovered because I see the word "hace," and so it kind of makes me think. You know. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. so this is a good point, but uh, however, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in English, there are phrasal verbs. In Spanish, there are phrases. So it's ah. well, in, well, I'm learning English. And so uh, I, my opinion is more convenient try to learn phrases. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. good point for you. Yes. Good point. Oh, yeah, discover, yeah. It literally discover. <laughs> right. you, okay. you win the gold star. It's better to okay. learn phrases than individual words. Okay, uh, gold stars, gold stars for everybody. There okay. we go. Okay. I have um, a question. another question about number six. Um, when we say uh, "me acabo de encontrar hace diez minutos," does that does that make sense as well? Me acabo de enterar. You can yes or enterar. Okay, she's saying. Okay, is that encontrar? Okay. Thank you. Me acabo de encontrar, acabo de enterarme. But that's different, right? Or no? Yes, yeah, yes, it is. It, yes. And can I say, lo acabo de descubrir? Lo acabo de descubrir? Oh, no. I just discovered. Discover. I don't know. Is this is sí. no open? Sale. Lo acabo. Oh, acabo. 
Yeah. Well, for, for everyone that's just may not know the structure, it's Akarada yeah. Day uh, plus infinitive. Like you said, I just cooked something. You know, I just, acabo de cocinar algo. You know, I just, cocinar. I just uh, uh. finished painting. Acabo de terminar de pintar. So that's acabo, uh, acabar de plus uh, the infinitive uh. is the structure. Acabo de pintar. De saber. <clears throat> Wow. Now, now I want to say one thing about uh, averiguar. Um, yeah. Most of the time, for for something for the past, it, it's very common to hear uh, enterarse. But for something that's going to, you're, you're going to find out, it's very more common for uh, averiguar. Like, like I'm going to find out where averiguar. You know, I just found out is you know, cabo de, me acabo de enterar. But that's for, that's for something you already found out. And averiguar is for something you're going to find out or you want to find out. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't need to. Great. Number seven. Number seven, moving down. Fui ahí hace dos años. I went there two years ago. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay. Hace dos años. I went there. Fui ahí. Okay, hace dos años, two years ago. So this is not since. There's no there's no since. Uh, it's just I went. What is this, I have been there two years ago. No, then we have since. I have been. No, no. <laughs> so I have been there before. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. I have been there before. You can say I was there two years I ago. Was two there, years yeah. ago. Or two years ago I I was there. You know, there's yes. different ways. Also. <laughs> También. Dos años, dos, dos semanas, años. dos meses. Sí. Dos minutos, or you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. time dos segundos. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that was quick. Touche. No. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I figured I'd throw that I word in there word since we're shit. talking oh. time frames. What is? <laughs> okay, so let's no. let's talk about the English, the the Spanish part. How do in Spanish? How do I say I was there instead of I went there? You were there. Ah, depending. Mm -hmm. Estaba or estuve, right? Estuve, yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Are you saying that both of those are right? No, no, I was just going to say, if you're describing the situation in the style, but if you're saying, you know, you were there, but it's just a completed action, you say, I, I was there, that's a stude. Mm. Um, but a stava you would use if you, if it's like a habit, or if you continuously kind of go there, like, yeah, I, you know, like I go there every night, or I was there three nights in a row or something, right? Um, yeah, it, it implies that there's uh, some period of time, some continuation, that it was not just one and done. Sí, like he says, estaba en España, España cuando mi hermano nació. You know, he's describing the situation. And then the nació, of course, is, that is uh, the preterite. Mm -hmm. Durante el terremoto. Okay. 
el terremoto. What is that? Hurricane. That, it's a good question. The earthquake. The earthquake. 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 Oh, terre, like grant. Okay, the that's you know, I'm thinking in French, like tel. All right, terremoto. So that would be earthquake. That's a yeah. good word to know in California. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, uh, terremoto. Thank you for that. I will not forget that. California. And, um, and if I could, I just realized <laughs> if I could break up that word, it's kind of a very interesting word, terremoto, because it almost sounds Japanese. That's the first thing. Because <laughs> terre, of course, that would be the ground, but moto would be motion. Yeah. And that so that's how I'm able to look at it and, you know, remember it like. You know, absorb that one like a sponge. I know I got to work on the phrases. I'm working on that too. But uh, yeah. that, the terremoto is a good word for sure. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Yeah. I just, uh, just want to ask Carmelo and Duke and Michael, um, can you, uh, is it possible to turn on your videos? We do love to see everybody. Oh, well, uh, I have you on the question of weather. How do you say hurricane? In Spanish, it's a good word to know. Huracan. Almost the same. Huracan? Oh, okay, good. That helps. Huracan. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Thank Huracan. you. ¿Cómo estás? Good. Okay. All right. Um, number eight. Okay. So. Bryce, this is a this is a different one, right? Um, it's well, it's using since. It's yeah. just yes, yeah, it's, it's just it's just using since at the beginning of the sentence. But yeah. but in this case, since doesn't isn't like um, a period of time, right? <laughs> uh, it, it it specify it doesn't specify a, a period of time, a specific period of time, but specify um a, a, a time. Right. This is more like because I changed my okay. diet. It it's more like because. So this is really important. Para los hispanohablantes, es esto esta palabra since significa más por qué. But, but you say that in English. Yeah, I mean, say since, yeah. since, since, since I did yeah. this or since I read more, I have improved my grammar. Since okay. I read more, I learn more uh, vocabulary. Is, is that right? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh, yes, it is. Um, I just read it, but the other one is also true. Um, does anybody disagree with me? I like, you can say since since I changed my diet and started exercising, because I changed my diet and started exercising, mm -hmm. oh, I feel That's much better. It's a reference in time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, Close. That's interesting also, I think, to me, is um, that, that idea of, um, yeah, since we have, uh, since we have both English and Spanish speakers here, we are all getting better. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Can I try that one? Yeah. Go for it. A little challenging. I want to try it. Um, um, but are we using desde que? Yes. Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, <laughs> desde que, um, como... Come on, say. Um, mi dieta. Change. Think of cambiar. Oh, I'm sorry. Cambiar. Um, cambi uh, yeah. Cambiar. Um, the predator. Cambié. Cambié. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Cambié. Cambié mi dieta. Cambié. Y come on, say. Uh, ejercicio. Um, say us. Do. Me sentí uh, mucho mejor. ¿sí? Comencé a hacer ejercicio. Me, me or, or ejercitarme es correcto. Sí, so, okay. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay, really, this is good. All right. Very good. Wow. Uh, 
Literally. <laughs> it's like a paragraph. Does any anybody else think this hour has like gone really, really, really fast? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Por supuesto. <laughs> like all hey. of them. Muy rápido. Esta hora. Sí. Well, we're going to have two hours in here. In terms of Spanish, I mean, you mentioned. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Necesitamos dos horas. No han comido nada desde esta mañana. Esta mañana. Esta mañana. Really? Um, no. I do have a question. <laughs> Can I ask a question about number eight before you go Of course. On? Yeah, of course. Um, I'm a little confused. Um, when you say start exercising, um, I'm is it? I I guess I'm wondering why it, you're using it as a reflexive. Mm hmm. Great question. Okay, Bryce, mm -hmm. why is that one reflexive? It's because I mean you're exercising yourself. I mean yourself, your your body. You're exercising yourself. Yes, we cannot do it for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, most of the time, I don't. Most of the time, I'm more comf I'm more used to saying "as I said," but but it has said it has said "tar me." It's because you're exercising yourself. You know, that's that's mm -hmm. the reason why. And like Anna said, we can't do it for you. <laughs> Every other day, I want to quit Spanish. <laughs> no, 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 no. Think about the good things. Think about the good things. But that's great, you know. Sometimes I feel that way. Sometimes I tell myself, well, I'm doing this shit. Okay, but they say, okay, then, then I, I come back. Okay, I know why. I know why. I have a good reason. So that motivates me. <laughs> so every time you think about it, think why you really want to speak Spanish. Uh, Spanish. What is that so important? And you will continue. Let's um, Anna. Let's let's stop sharing for a minute, okay? Um, everybody, uh, Anna is going to share this document in uh, the Facebook group. I think uh, tomorrow, um, so you'll be able to download this document and do the rest of the examples. Okay. Okay. Great. Um, so. Um, <clears throat> I would, I, since we have a few more minutes and some new people and, and everybody, um, so tell us why you want to speak Spanish, Danielle. You're on mute. So um, thank you. Um, I minored in Spanish uh, at Sac State University. I had a chance to study in Spain for a semester. When was that? And, when? Uh, a long wow. time ago, 2005. <laughs> okay. And so <laughs> and, I want to go all the way back to 2005. Okay. So something like because you live in California or for whatever reason, you said, I wish I could speak Spanish, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And like, um, and then you went to Spain and you experienced the culture and the mm -hmm. language and all the nice people who are so nice to you because <laughs> you're trying to speak Spanish, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay. And you want more of that, right? Absolutely. And um, also, I'm a missionary and I go to a lot of Spanish-speaking countries. Great. In fact, in December, I'll be going to Cuba. And during the summer, oh, wow. I'll be in Equatorial Guinea. So I have oh. a real passion for the language. <laughs> um, reach, out, uh, reach out to me privately. Um, I'd love to talk sure. to you about the, the mission trips. Um, okay. I have a uh, um, strong belief that, uh, you know, there are probably Cuban people in your community who that you could connect with and talk to before your mission trip um, oh. and uh, ask them about their family and what they need. You know, like I, I preach all the time. People go down to, you know, someplace like Guatemala and build a school. Maybe they don't need a school. Maybe they need pencils. Okay. But mm -hmm. you don't know until you ask. Right. And, and so um, uh, we we would love to um, help if we can. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm very happy to have this book. And oh, sorry, it's taken me so long to hey, Bryce, finally connect with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have the book. I've got the okay. book a while back and I'm I'm not on Facebook unfortunately, but I am connected on the um 
the the group that we have with um what's up what mm -hmm. is it whatsapp yeah thank mm -hmm. you so awesome. hopefully i'll be able to get a copy on whatsapp of okay. the um, tonight's mm -hmm. assignment nice okay. to be here with all of you and it's nice to have you here great thank you um okay so anybody else want to just tell us why do you want to speak uh i'll say briefly yeah uh i travel a lot and uh for work one of the many different jobs i do I actually sell jewelry and so i thankfully took your advice and was learning the phrases uh so when you're trying to sell jewelry let me tell you there sometimes you speak it then they think you speak it fluently and then they speak back to you like 95 miles an hour and i go <laughs> despacio señor por favor oh yeah es limitado. <laughs> And then they don't believe you. And that's the funny part. So it's almost like a stand-up comedy routine. Uh, <laughs> but it has really helped. And even, you know, my client who is Spanish and, you know, she hears me speaking. She's like, you sure you don't speak? I go, I go well, not very well, but I'm learning it. So and that's why I do it. So it, it is an advantage. And, you know, I've had to speak another language. Sometimes we'll write it out. Like sometimes even speaking in French because uh, we have a lot of French Canadians that will come down for the winter and and obviously they don't all speak English. So uh, it's good practice either way. I, I think it's good for your brain as you get older uh, as well. So I think there's an added health benefit, uh, you know, to learn a different language too, to kind of train your brain to expand a bit. So I agree. I agree. Yeah. Y uno de los hispanohablantes, ¿por qué quieres hablar inglés? Comparta, comparte con nosotros. ¿Por qué quieres hablar inglés? ¿Alguien? En, en mi caso, okay. en mi caso estoy, estoy acá en, en este país, en Estados Unidos, y necesito aprender más de lo que es la cultura, mm. de la forma de pensar de, la, de aquí, de la gente de, de Estados Unidos. Sí, claro. Y porque es interesante pues, aprender otro idioma, ¿no? aparte del lenguaje uh -huh. normal y... que tiene. En su trabajo, ¿trabajas con anglos o con todos, todos hispanohablantes? No, sí trabajo con algunas personas que son nativos de Estados Unidos. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Eh, y sí, eh, entiendo algunas cosas cuando me, ellos me hablan, pero lo, lo más difícil para nosotros los, los hispanohablantes es poder, eh, poder contestar, ¿no? Cómo poder responder a, o querer decir algo, expresar algo en inglés. Eso uh -huh. es lo más Creo que es, es un poco más fácil eh, poder entender al escucharlo, poder entenderlo, pero ya al querer hablarlo, es la barrera que tenemos que, que quitar. Mm -hmm. Agree, sí, sí, exacto, exacto. Uh -huh. Ok, alguien, iPhone, uh, ok, sí, Julie, ya, yeah. share. Um, I have been studying Spanish, like off and on for about, I guess I can say two years now. Um, I went to, I, but I, I love the culture. Um, we all do. I spent um, six weeks in South America um, last May, May and June, and I loved it. Um, Where did I was you able go? to experience Machu Picchu? It was, it was oh. wonderful. Um, oh. And I, I guess um, I'm going to retire. At some point, I don't know when, but hopefully in a few years. I've been on my job forever, so hopefully in a few years. But um, I wanted to move. To, I want to move to Mexico. I I love okay. Spanish culture. I love the language. So, and then I I I'm a counselor, so I, I work with a lot of Spanish speaking mm -hmm. um, individuals. So I you know I like to talk to them without a translator because I can understand what they're saying. It's just sure. mm -hmm. trying to and. Um, you know, trying to speak um, like fast enough where, you know, people don't kind of run out of the room by the time you learn the verb that you need to um, conjugate. Um, but yeah, I, um, and then I have a, um, I actually have a language exchange partner as well, so. Um, where did you find the, the practice partner? Um, I, I actually um, kind of, I don't know, linked up with a guy on, on um, I think on WhatsApp or something like that. And he connected me to uh, my Venezuelan partner. So. Mm. That's great. Yeah. Um, 
that's good. And uh, that's what we help with. That's what we encourage is yeah. find a partner uh, or we'll help you find a partner or whatever. But, and we also want to give you the structure to, so that every practice session, you know, is, is really productive, right? Yeah. Great. You are already doing it. That's fantastic. Okay. Alguien quiere compartir por qué quieres hablar inglés? Uh, me gustaría, estoy viviendo en este momento en Charlottesville. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. so, yeah. eh, solo inglés en la mayoría de mi ambiente mm -hmm. eh, es un poco complicado. So, esta, tengo seis meses. Eh, lo más difícil es, a mi opinión, dejar de traducir en, en nuestra mente. Porque sure. cuando queremos hablar, eh, nos detenemos. Mm -hmm. uh, but however, my advantage in here is uh, obligation to speak in English, so I don't have other option. And, and this is it was helpful. Uh, it has been helpful. Uh, so, uh, but sometimes uh, is my problem is, is I cannot stop translating in my mind. Esa es la razón que es un poco más difícil. Dejar de traducir. But uh, my, it's important the question that why, uh, that, the reason why I want to learn English or Spanish. But however, uh, it's the worst thing is a stop practice. Si dejamos de practicar, es muy difícil poder avanzar. Exacto. Exacto. Right. Para todos ustedes aprendiendo inglés y nosotros aprendiendo español. Es lo mismo. Ok. Mira, mira esta pantalla. Somos lo mismo. Todos y todos. Ok. We are all the same. We're all in the same boat. This is a very diverse, wonderful place, but we're all doing the same thing, right? And this is, uh, I just love it. I really love it. Ok. Muy bien. Algo más. James, any, uh, uh, Bryce, any any last minute tips or tricks that you want to uh, put out here about Desde and Desde Hace and... and... Uh, I don't know particularly I, because people are asking questions and sometimes I don't, they're asking so many questions about, which is good uh, to ask the questions, but, you know, I can't anticipate every question they're going to ask for Desde and Desde because it, Desde, Desde Hace, Hace, you know, it's, it's, you know, a bunch of questions that, you know, like when they do these examples, when you guys do the examples, you're probably going to have some questions, but that, that, that's fine. But yeah, it's hard. To that's the point. I, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at something specific, but I can't, it's, yeah, it's just, mm -hmm. it's hard to, to give a specific tip. About, yeah. You know, um, but that's the, that's the point, Bryce, is that's, this is great. If, so there's something everybody we call the example framework that Bryce cre created, um, or we all created. I don't know how it happened, but um, we have the example framework, and the whole idea is we we take an example like what Bryce has given us today, and then we we look at that, but then we change it a little bit, and then we ask questions, and um, and and that's the whole idea is, and we learn phrases. So, Bryce, this was extremely useful and successful. I do want to make a note on, on one thing, though. Um, one of the examples, I, I think I put, uh, I haven't seen you for a long time, but then, I don't know if it, 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 okay, I haven't seen you for a long time, but most of the time people say long time, no see. So just for, um, for the purposes of that one, and of course there, there are many ways to say in Spanish, you know, people say a long time, they'll see many different ways. So uh, just the way that I have on here, you know, you'll hear it a bunch of different ways. You know, you may hear, hace mucho que no nos vemos, hace mucho que no te veo, you know, hace mucho tiempo que no te veo, uh, cuánto, cuánto tiempo sin verte, cuánto tiempo sin vernos. I mean, you'll, you'll hear a, a lot of different ways that people just kind of express how long, you know, I haven't seen you in a long time. Okay, good. 
Entonces, en inglés, nomás puedo decir long time no see. Long time no see is very common to say, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. haven't, see, very I haven't common. seen you in a long time. I mean, people say that too, but it's yeah. super common for somebody. You see somebody you hadn't seen in a while. Oh, long time no see. You know, you know, long time no see. I don't, that's not a slang. Correct, it's more slang. Correct sentence, yeah. But it's, it's way, it's super, super, super common. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. it has to be mentioned. Yeah. So. Long time no see. Long time no see. Exactly. <laughs> hey, that's good. I'm going to. Yo, use... what's up? It's been a long time. You know, there's so many ways. Uh, see, si, see, si, mucho tiempo. Okay. Que pasó, que pasa, you know, all that stuff. So it's. Uh... All right. What happened? Oh, I'm not sure. Sorry, guys. Uh... <clears throat> okay. I was saying um, that James can do two things at the same time. I cannot, so he got I distracted a things. little bit. I have, I, have some, <laughs> I have some, yeah, I am. I apologize, everybody. <laughs> but Anna knows me so well, but she takes really, really good care of me. So. <laughs> All right. Um, everybody, I really thank you so much for being here. Um, uh, si vives en Arizona, en Phoenix, recuerde que vamos a empezar clases presenciales la próxima semana, pero necesitas escribirnos si quieres um, asistir. Uh, so please, uh, Asalia, if you can, yeah, check in with people, see if they're coming. Okay. Uh, Here are the product details from Amazon. Mexa slang, the key to understand. Okay. Oh. Added to cart. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Wow, gracias, Alexis. All right. A las personas que están aquí por que recibieron un mensaje de Cholengo, el número que de trabajo que les llegó el mensaje es mi número. Si quieren inscribirse, mándenme mensaje, mándenme WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody. And especially thank you to Anna and Bryce uh, for putting mm -hmm. this together. Um, Asalia, thanks for inviting so many new Add people. Add it to cart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're buying something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we will be on Wednesday again next week. Okay. We try to do Wednesday every week. It's just uh, I could not do yesterday. So I couldn't either. So it worked out. So Great. thank you. Okay. Uh, Dan, uh, I apologize. We will find a time, okay? Oh, por supuesto. Okay, gotcha. yeah. no, I, no, uh, no te preocupes. Estamos, estamos muy cerca, pero... Okay, muy bien. Right. All right, everybody. Uh, have a beautiful week. Be safe. Um, and we will see you again soon. Yes. Hasta luego. Buenas noches. 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 Buenas noches.